Fishing is a relaxing pastime. It comes in various fashions with goals differing based on equipment, environment, and knowledge. Interestingly enough, so does trading and the tools we use to fish for pips and profits. If you've got the right equipment in the right environment backed by the required knowledge, you too can possibly create a profit stream for yourself. We're revisiting an indicator we blogged about nearly three years ago. We spent some time updating the blog contents, added some graphics, and posted new testing results. That alone should get you hopping over there after watching this video. It did pretty good, all things considered. We're talking about none other than the Fisher Indicator, a next-gen version of the John Ellis Fisher Transform. It comes to us as a below chart, histogram, color changing, zero cross, confirmation indicator. Yes, I know I mentioned three types of indicators, histogram, color change, and zero cross. This just happens to combine all three visually, but for testing purposes, we chose the zero cross because technically, that's what the data gave us with regard to buffer values. However, if you're a visual trader, just watching for a color change of the bars is absolutely fine. VP profiled it and actually said it made for a possible exit indicator as well, which is always a plus in our world. It's included in the exit indicator series, which I mentioned last week. We're going to try a little something different here by stacking a baseline, a C1, and a C2, and then set the fissure as our exit indicator on a fictitious long trade already in progress. Don't worry what the other indicators are. I just threw a dart to pick them from a list. Totally random. Let's see how this plays out on a snippet of a tick chart. We'll speed this up a bit as well to keep the napping to a minimum. Okay, Fisher just signaled the exit before C1, C2, and the baseline reacted to the change in price direction. Now, our C1 just signaled an exit or opposite signal four periods later giving back a fat handful of pips. Notice that our C2 and baseline are still in a long condition. Since we're kind of on a Swiss roll, let's try out the Euro against the Swiss franc and see what happens. We'll pick it up here with this long. Price has been going sideways, so let's see if we get any action. All right, in a relatively quiet market, we were able to get a nice little trade out of that. Decent exit without giving back much. Now the short. A bit choppy, but a successful trade nonetheless, even as price flattened out again. That was a solid trade. Lots of profit, with both the first half and second half trailing you for about three weeks. Great exit, too. Another great trade. That fast reversal would have triggered your trailing stop before the exit signal, so it's all good. What are we now, like four straight wins? And our first loser. No big deal. We'll just mark it up and move on. Back in the saddle with another winner. Okay, we'll take it. We were able to close the front half of our trade in profit. And as we all know, half of something is better than, altogether now, all of nothing. Hard to tell on this trade. Depending on ATR, we may have not hit our first take profit level before price executed an erupt about face. It doesn't get any better than that. Solid profits for weeks and check out that exit. Hardly anything given back before you got the signal. We'll take that any day. Bummer. But after that last trade, We'll tolerate it. Okay, we peaked ahead a bit. Had you been using this as your entry, there would have been two losers followed by a winner. However, this is where a slower indicator would have captured that whole move as a long. And that's totally fine. After all, we're in this for the long game. And just like that, we're in the big money again. That beach fund should be getting pretty fat by now. And another great trade. Good exit, too. We're in another streak. Great stuff.
we've got one of those close calls. We'd have to see what the ATR was to determine if there was profit in that trade. And we've got our last short signal. Let's see what happens. So far so good, this most recent short is in profit. Off to a good start. I believe that this pair with the indicator booked a lot more profits than losses over the last year. Was it the pair of the indicator? That's kind of an open-ended question, but I'd like to think that the indicator was responsible for those great runs. I'm glad we decided to pay attention to those emails about this indicator. Good call, everybody. Now, go get it from the Stonehill Forex Indicator Library at no cost to you, so you too can get busy with it. The link is in the video's description. If you think you're going to be able to gear up with financial advice from us, not a chance. Besides, with all that great material we've got including the advanced course, you can do this yourself without going commando. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.